Hello okay, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video and today we are here to review Kapoe. Um, I've not, I should have done this video a lot sooner but um, I was just cooking some food so I decided I'm going to do it a little bit later. So let's just quickly have a look at his card, go into a game, see if he's any good, see if he can get a win and yeah, just enjoy the content really. But the card itself cost me around 100,000 coins to complete. I had a few players but I needed, needed to buy all the team of the weeks. So 100,000 coins for a card, it's not too bad at all. I'm kind of curious to understand how much he actually costs uh, from complete scratch. Um, and well, apparently it costs 66,000, so I definitely did not use 100,000 coins. Uh, so I'm lying, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, so 66,000 co uh, coins for a card, it, that is actually fairly good. Um, the only problem is it does have that medium, medium attack and defensive work rate, which is a bit of a, uh, a bit of pain. But um, apart from that, everything on this card is just insane. 84 dribbling, 86 defending, 85 physical, 85 passing, 81 shooting, and 76 pace. Uh, acceleration and sprint speed is okay. Agility is not too bad as well. So yeah, as I said, acceleration sprint speed is not the greatest, but agility is 80, balance is 80, composure is 80, ball control is 87, short passing is 90, long passing is 88. So he's actually looking like a decent box to box. He could potentially be a cam as well, but it's just not quick enough. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and play him as a cam, as well as as a CDM, and see what what where is he where is he best best at really which position. Uh, long passer and long shot taker traits and overall looks like a really really good card three star three star is a bit of a lead back let down but he's six foot three and it's just those stats just look absolutely ridiculous comparing to Wijnaldum is actually really, really similar uh, and Kante comparing to Kante Kapoor is actually a lot better than Kante so uh, for the purpose of this video we aren't gonna play we're gonna play um, with this team um, I know it's not something that you're probably familiar with but we're just gonna try and play with this team and see what we can do in this. Kapu is actually massive on, on the on that pitch once you can actually get him on the pitch, pitch is actually really really big I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing uh, but that's uh, gonna be well we nearly had a good chance to score there but uh, I'm interested, interested to see if he performs really well or not I'm, I'm happy to have him in my team just because you know if, Icon swap, etc. I will need those kind of players and tradable players to have. I just wanted this year, just wanted to build loads of different players or teams with different players that have just come from SBCs and not going to put them into any other SBCs until maybe later into the game. But right now, I just want to have the best possible teams for every league, really. So, which we'll try that. So, Kapoor on the ball, cross that into Dembele. That's not going to work. I, I, I kind of feel like his position. As a, as a cam is not going to work because he's just not quick enough uh, so I may need to just do some changes and get myself a better cam and get Wijnaldum out of there and then we'll, we'll try and figure out how we're going to play uh, but right now it's a bit of a defensive style right now there we go Kante kind of got the ball but then we lose it straight away and we are going to concede that's what I thought but we didn't put it on the ball and he is really comfortable in passing the ball which is really nice uh, and I do believe a CDM for him would actually be just a little bit, a lot better for him. I think he would suit his style uh, a lot better. Messi, good pass to uh, Benzema. And then Kapoor is just a bit out of the place, out of the position. I, I just don't think he suits uh, that position at all. Like he's too tall, too slow. Just um, I feel like he's a CDM that can sort of hit occasional long range shot or something like that. Um, and that the way he gave the ball away here is just absolutely ridiculous. But uh, we're back on it. Let's go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Wijnaldum off. I'm going to put Kapoor into the CDM position. And then what I'm going to put into the cam is probably going to put somebody quick like Insigne so we now have Dembele and Insigne as our camps and hopefully Kapoor can do the CDM job for us and Kapoor nice pass to Messi and Messi unfortunately just couldn't get the shot off but um, all straight away all of a sudden he just feels a lot better from that CDM position he just feels like a bit more dangerous and uh, you know you can defend that Def do the defending and then uh, all of a sudden you can do that beautiful pass through ball to Messi or somebody like that uh, to, to try and score that goal so hopefully we can use him a little bit more 
uh, once we get the ball back um, a bit more. But let's go. Let's just try and get this. There we go. Beautiful goal. Insigne with the cross, and then Benzema gets a volley. Uh, I didn't actually think we'll score that goal, but uh, I'll definitely take that. Uh, Kapui, I don't know. It's a tough one because he actually feels fairly slow. Um, which, you know, 76 pace is not the slowest when you think about it, but I don't know, maybe it's because it's medium-medium, it just feels a bit out of the position, doesn't get into those positions like defensive positions or attacking positions, it's just a bit of nowhere really, uh, good defending there by Giallo, um, but yeah, just, I'm not sure about him. Kapoor on the ball again, yeah look, it's just, although his dribbling is quite high, but the way he turns around is just absolute joke. And my passing is a joke as well. Uh, but right now, the way when I play with Kapoe in the in the team, it does feel like my midfield is kind of like all over the place. So yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah, honestly, not a big fan of him at all. Messi, good pass to Benzema. Benzema, good little finish, and that is 2-2. We kind of got a goal out of nowhere, but that's what Messi does and Benzema does finish those kind of goals. But defensively, we're struggling, really, really struggling. You know, Messi hits the post and unfortunately can't get that goal. Um, it's a, if we win this game, it's going to be big. We'll get ourselves to rank one in Division 1, which would be absolutely massive. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, Kapui is just not good enough at this level, in my personal opinion. So. If I was you, I probably wouldn't do this SBC. I've done this, this SBC for you guys, so you don't have to. But yeah, my little tip is do not do this. Okay, so game over. Unfortunately, we have drawn the game 2-2. I mean, fortunately, unfortunately, whatever you want to take it. But not the best game, not going to lie. Uh, midfield, I felt like Kante was doing all the work. So I'm not a big fan of this SBC. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're a big fan of Kapoe. But unfortunately, I'm just not a big fan at all. So, unfortunately, it's going to be my review, and this is how I feel about the player. I'm just, I would just say, do not touch this SBC. Uh, let's just quickly have a look at the, at the stats. Let's have a look at Kapoe's 6.9 rating, which is not too bad, right? Um, 33% tackle success rate, 94% dribble success rate, and 58% passing accuracy. Not the greatest, right? Possession won four times, possession lost five times. Let's compare him to somebody that played in the same position, exactly the same role. Passes, 95%, 20. So it's a one more pass than Kante. Dribble, 75%, tackle success rate, 33%. Possession won five times, possession lost three times. But I ju it just doesn't show that this card is, this card is not good at all. Um, just feels a bit sluggish at this stage of the game a bit against better opponents, a bit against better, faster players. I think this CDM will unfortunately will struggle. And yeah, if I see him, if I see playing, play, if I play against him, then I'm not really scared. Honestly, that's not just my personal opinion, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. I know it's a bit all over the place, but I kind of get it. I try to get it done as, as, as best as possible. And yeah, that's all, it, guys. If you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment down below what would you like to see next i'll see you next time peace